Before we can start programming in Python, we need to set up the Python environment. Python is a highly portable language available on all major operating systems. Let's see how to install the latest version of Python on Windows operating system. For Windows, you need to visit the official Python website at python.org and then navigate through the Downloads tab to the Downloads for Windows and click the button to begin downloading the latest Python version. The downloading process has started. Here is the installer. Double click on it to start it. After the installer starts, be sure to enable the option to add Python to the path environment variable before moving on by clicking Install Now. You may be asked to approve the Python installer making changes to your device, which you should accept. After a few seconds, the installation will complete and you can close the installer and your web browser. To check if the Python has been installed properly, launch the command prompt and type Python. Then hit enter. Welcome to Python. The triple arrow prompts shows you that the Python is waiting for your input. Now that Python is installed and running, we can immediately start using it interactively. This Python command line environment is a read evaluate print loop. Python will read whatever input we type in, evaluate it, print the result, and then look back to the beginning. You'll often hear it referred to as simply the repo. When started, the repo will print some information about the version of Python you are running, and then it will give you a triple arrow prompt. This prompt tells you that Python is waiting for you to type something. Let's start with some simple arithmetic. As you can see, Python reads our input, evaluates it, prints the result, and loops around to do the same again. We can assign variables in repo, print their contents simply by typing their names. Notice that not all statements have a return value. When we assign 5 to x, there was no return value. Simply the variable was created. Other statements have more visible side effects. Let's use the print function to print hello python. You'll see that python immediately evaluates and executes this command. Printing the string hello python and returning you to another prompt. At this point, we should see how to exit from here. On Windows, press Ctrl plus Z followed by Enter to exit. If you want to clear everything, type in CLS and hit Enter. Let's close the command prompt. We are not going to practice Python coding in command prompt. We are going to use PyCharm one of the most popular IDE for Python. In the next video, we will see how to install PyCharm on Windows.